All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is going to be my full review of the Team Associated Pro SC 4x4. This is their newest ready-to-run short course truck, and it's pretty damn cool. I have been driving this thing for the last couple of weeks now and really having some fun with this little RTR here. Um, now, I test out lots of uh, everything from uh, very inexpensive RTRs all the way up to thousands of dollars uh, worth of race rigs and I've got to say that Team Associated has done a great job with this RTR. It definitely hit the mark as far as what you want from a short course truck that is four wheel drive ready to run out of the box. They really did a great job doing their homework and really giving the consumer uh, kind of what they want. Uh, now I have been driving this thing a lot actually uh, more than any other RTR that I've tested here, uh, merely for the fact that it's really fun to drive and nothing breaks on this thing. I, I, I have uh, severely tortured <laughs> this short course truck um, in my time here and I have, you know, lawn darted it. I have nose dived. I have done all sorts of things and I just can't break this thing. This thing has really been a, a great pleasure to drive and I do plan to do some things with this here at the RC Network. So I um, want to do a full review of this thing and kind of show you guys uh, my experience with it so far and give you some positive, a couple of minuses that I really had to, you know, really think about to see if there was any negatives on this kit here. Um, now, the uh, the first, and we'll do a couple of negatives first, uh, really the only negative, and I had to really kind of, um, you know, reach for this one, I didn't like the big dials up here. Um, although everything stayed true uh, during my driving of it, uh, you know, they're just large and they just seem too large. So um, I, I guess, uh, you know, for trim levels and things, you don't really want those things messed with too much. So that's really one of the only main negatives of this kit, which, you know, if it's just the radio, um, we're doing pretty damn good. Now, one other thing that I did have that was bad uh, right out of the gate was I did have a ball cut split on me. And it was it was pretty funny because I was I was out with a buddy of mine and we were, we were shooting this thing right when I first got it. And um, it literally took a quarter of a lap and the ball cut came <laughs> undone. So... I ended up replacing that, and uh, since then I have, you know, really beat the living crap out of this truck, and nothing has broken since then. So probably just a fluke accident, uh, but anyways, uh, that was my only two negatives of this truck. Can you believe it? Um, so positives. All right, this is going to a long list here, and and you know, there's major positives on this truck. The first thing is the looks of this thing, red, white, and blue. You can't get any better than that. This thing just looks cool. It looks very scale for a short course truck that has a Lexan body. Um, looks great. Um, the second thing, it drives great. I mean, you literally point this thing and it drives. Uh, there's no um, issues with it squirreling around, losing the rear end. Um, you know, it flies straight. It flies very balanced. Uh, this thing really did well. Uh, next thing were the shocks. These shocks on this thing are just massive. I believe they're 16 millimeter big bore shocks. They really belong on like an eight scale buggy here. So uh, very large volume shocks and they did a great job uh, dampening this somewhat light uh, short course truck. So mostly plastic on this thing. So it is gonna be a little bit lighter than the average short course truck that's a four wheel drive. Uh, but nonetheless, those shocks did a great job. Uh, next thing down the line, the electronics. I mean, the the Reedy Electronics did a really good job here. Um, this is a 550 sized 3500 kV four pole motor. Um, you know, ran very cool. I only ran it on 2S because that's really all it needed. Now this is a Reedy powered uh, ESC right here. I believe it's an 80 amp. Um, this thing did very well. It looks to be somewhat of a Hobby King kind of rebadge. So keep in mind of that. Good little switch there. Everything was running great. It does come with a T-style connector, so I was able to plug in my favorite 2S LiPo straight into it without having to solder anything. So all in all, the electronics did a great job. Plenty of power out of the gate. Plenty of power when you're up in the jump. You want to pull the nose up a little bit. It did a great job. Next thing, decent tires. I mean, for RTRs these days, usually uh, tires are a complete crapshoot, and 
I think uh, Team Associated did a great job with um, outfitting us with a, a pretty all-around tire. It's a very smaller pin style tire and it did really, really well, especially for the uh, places I was taking it. Um, now the places I take it are kind of like a hard pack with kind of like a, a loose top on it. So had plenty of traction, definitely uh, gave up the rooster tails here and there, but all in all, a great uh, RTR tire out of the gate. So after running this thing about five packs now, very minimal wear on those tires. So pretty nice. Um, you know, this truck is just, it's one of my favorites now. I've got to say that it's, it's really fun to drive. I, I mean, if you look at um, how clean it stayed, I mean, it's, it's taken very little abuse after running it uh, for so long. You'll see the underside here definitely got some scratches and whatnot. Bumper took a little bit of a beating. If you guys saw my, uh, my torture testing of this thing, I was definitely uh, nose diving this thing, not on purpose, but just to get the feel for the truck on the jumps and whatnot. On the rear side, you do get a little bit of a uh, scraping here. So definitely uh, plowing out. May have to tune up those shocks just a little bit. Cool that it comes with mud flaps. Although, I, I mean, it looks cool. I'm not a big fan of mud flaps just because they kind of get in the way sometimes. But uh, all in all, I mean, great, great RTR truck. I've got to say this is probably, for the money, probably one of the best uh, RTR short course four-wheel drive trucks on the market. Uh, I said it, sorry, it, it, I think it is. So, And I've driven actually a lot of four-wheel drive short course trucks. So uh, take it from me. Uh, I think I, I know my business when it comes to those things. So, um, Well, that's it, guys. If you have any comments or questions about this, please feel free to take a look at my Facebook page. I have lots of detailed photos on there. I have uh, additional links and postings on there that you may find interesting. So uh, till then, comments and questions on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.